so this episode, this, this the, the audio and everything for this video is gonna be a little bit different from all the ones around it because apparently I either never had an episode, I think 15 or 14 or whatever it is, and I just got like named all the episodes after this one, and it's weird. It it's weird Central that. Central, everybody, welcome. Oh my gosh, there are no sound options. All right, so Mark, uh, go well, ahead and tell us an yes, and I'm this. EJ Demir. This is where the NBA meets the playground. This. Yeah, the story about read the, the like yeah, what is it? The review of Slenderman. Yeah, these are these are reviews. These are several Let's reviews. Score. So this guy actually tried to take his job seriously because he works for Variety, which makes him somebody, I guess. You know what? And the <laughs> the no, review on, like on, after on. this. Is... Oh, oh, okay. Because oh. it was loud. Like it was fucking loud. Like it, the game. It was so yeah, it was so goddamn loud. You can. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Turn the commentator off. All right, you can continue though. Go ahead. But yeah, this, this reviewer whose name is Owen Gliberman? Gliberman? Glib like Glib I want to play on that stage. Uh huh. But he says he's coming to get you, but who he is remains a mystery. He's the walking dead spirit of Formula Teen Horror. The monster who, no matter how many times, no matter how many times you kill him, never goes away. This was his review. How accurately does that describe that movie? Not very, because they never kill him. Like as far as I remember, they never well, kill. Well, Owen Gliberman, you didn't do a very good job. You should be working a variety. You did bad. Uh, this is Paul Assay who works at Plugged In, he says, Slenderman, it's just a bad movie. And bad in every possible way. That's it. <laughs> he ain't wrong. <laughs> so, Simon Brond from Empire says, promising source material and a talented cast of are squandered in a tale rigidly formulaic J-horror wannabe. Slenderman equals slim pickings for all the most undemeaning devotees. I don't I have, a, I have a hard time believing the whole it's a really good cast. No, it wasn't. He apparently felt it was a good cast. Like, I didn't know any, like, if you look at the, the cast for, for the Slenderman, you tell me if there was anybody in that movie who was famous, because I didn't recognize any of the people that were that were in the movie. Really? Thanks, Rodman. You're the best. Like I, I want nothing but the goodness for you. First off, this movie could have been so much better than it was. That the Slenderman story itself is very interesting. I learned of Slenderman when a court case here in Wisconsin went through went through of two girls killing another girl. Very tragic in my prayers as a family, blah 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 blah. So I was expecting more of a thrill, an actual fear of going to bed. Considering if you read anything on Slender Men, they keep actually because I've been reading that wrong, they're saying Slender Men. They're not saying Slender Man, they're saying Slender Men. I don't know why they're calling them Slender Men. This movie could have been a hit. The ratings are honest. About one third of the way into the movie, my fiance basically called out the ending of the movie, and he was completely correct. I dislike the seance placement of half the movie at night. Okay. What? I don't know who the fuck the Kyle Newberry, Kylie Newberry, yeah, Kylie Newberry. You need to get a pack, pack it in. Uh, pack it up, pack it in. You shouldn't have begun. Anyway, it's cookie cutter. They 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 didn't like the movie very much. That's that's what's to be uh, taken from this. Ah, he could have hit that. Shut up. 
Yes, yeah, right. I told you dog shut up. What about it? Want to fight about it? What are y'all doing? Mr. Zia Tradeon. Mm, I forgot about the 12 second shot clock. My response to this movie is really mixed. I don't hate it, but I don't really like it. It's the not... idea of it was really... <laughs> the idea of it's really great, and definitely is a good summary of Slenderman's character because not a lot of people know much about his powers, such as his ability to manipulate electricity. Is that a thing? Cause... I've never heard that. <laughs> uh... On the other hand, it sort of just felt like a meh. What am I watching? What Literally, am I watching? the characters summon Slenderman by watching a video. They they let him into their hearts by by watching the video. Yes. That's literally the same exact scenario in another unrelated movie named The Ring. Because yeah. you know, no one's ever heard of The Ring. I wouldn't say it's the same thing. With The Ring, you get cursed, and you're gonna yeah. die within a certain amount of time, no matter what happens. This is a Unless little bit different. Spread the curse. Yeah. This is a- this isn't quite that. Next complaint that I have is that lots, in parentheses, all of the scary parts that we've seen from the trailer were removed from the real movie. And the and one of the worst parts has to be the ending, where we see what Slenderman does to most of his victims, and that is to take them and make them be part of a tree. Yeah, what? I remember. That's what happened, and I didn't understand what the fuck was going on. Basically, what ended up happening was he uh he wrapped his tendrils around his chick's back, like around her legs. Really, I got fucked here on this one. Like, he wrapped his tendrils around her feet, pulled her across, like, the, the, the fucking forest. Uh -huh. And then, like, attached her to this tree. And then what happened was, like, the bark of the tree just grew around her, or just engulfed her, basically. Like, it slowly engulfed her until she was in the tree. Or a part of the tree. You're asking, you're, if you're gonna ask a question, I, I please... I, re I request that you don't. First off, the main reason why Slenderman is scary is because we don't know what he is and what he'll do when he catches you. That's why most of us were scared of Slender. That it's is... the fear of the unknown. That's not quite right. It's like, you were the person this movie was made for then. Because you're scared by nothing. But still, I have, st I have to say two more good things about this movie to make it even. One thing that I like was the narration in the ending, which was literally screaming Marble Hornets into my face. If you don't know what Marble Hornets is, it's a web series based off of Slenderman himself. And in the season 3 finale, the character Alex reveals why he killed all the main characters. It's because he doesn't want Slenderman to spread across the world. It turns out all the interactions the main characters did to other people made them Slenderman's next victim, sort of, like a virus. Are you getting all this? I'm getting something. <laughs> and what's the ending narration by the last surviving character? Don't let Slenderman make you spread his virus. And when I heard that, my jaw just dropped of how similar it was to Alex's motives in Marble Hornets. Oh my gosh. I hate and this And lastly, person. The third best thing about this movie was the end credits. No joke, the editing in it was spot on and the music sounded great. It showed images that contained Slingerman and even news reports from all around the world. I yeah, would recommend that, this. That you're... it did do. Like, that it did do. And I thought that was kind of interesting because it did have, um, like, it was the. Honestly, the, like, normally I would say, like, yeah, the best part of the movie is when it went off. But in this scenario, but in this scenario, it really was the best part of the movie, simply because like it had like the real world stuff about Slenderman in it. Yeah. And like that, but it was it was entertaining. 
but they Man, end I... their review by saying, I would recommend this if you were a dedicated Slenderman slash Creepypasta fan, or if I... you've never seen a horror movie. I say, well, yeah, if you've never seen one ever. If you've yeah. never seen a horror movie in your life, then this is a perfect movie to begin with. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, I but... Tell 103 people found this review helpful. If you're a kid... It, 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 if you're a teenage girl, you might like this movie. If you're over, if you're overly dramatic, and like you're just, because again, it's it's mostly an all-girl cast, and it and it, it just reeks of that female protagonist garbage that the uh, that 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 gets pushed around in movies right now. It's just like the idea that because a girl is the lead, it's good. But that's not the case. Mm. And, it, like, that fucking movie was, was bad. Like, it was just bad. And, like, it makes me wonder, like, when an actor says, like, a really shit line in a movie, I always wonder, like, did you, did you, like, consider contesting how, like, whack that line was? Or were you just like, nah, it's like, I'm getting paid for it, I don't care. Their movie, not mine. Worst case scenario is... I think it's, it's always the worst, not knowing where the ball's gonna go. I have another review, if you'd like me to continue. Would you like me to continue? Yes, please! I have two minutes left. Okay, so this is from Jackson Giardo. They say, not bad, but far from great. First the praise, the visuals are pretty darn good. Except for the ending of the movie, it's where Slender Man looks like... It's not a, what? I'm about to say, it's not a, a CGI movie. You hardly ever see Slender Man. Like to say the visuals are good in a movie that has real people in it is a fucking stupid thing to say. But like, it's, except for the ending of the movie where Slender Man looks like the demo Spider-Man model from the game. What the fuck does that mean? Which game? That's important. Anyway, the sound is so creepy sounding and real. It honestly gave me goosebumps. Well, it was real. Yeah. They, they used actual instruments and computers to make the noises. Like, they sampled real life thi What the fuck is wrong with these people? Like, I, The atmosphere is weird, but creepy at the same time. Kind of like dark blue to green back around in the forest. What? What about a green bark back around? What? But creepy at the same time, kind of like the dark blue to green back around in the forest. Back around to the forest. Slender Man in this movie is also a monster and cruel. Also a monster as opposed to a tax evasion artist. <laughs> Saul that was Slender what Man. my brain he's not, said. He's not Saul Slender Man in this movie. That, that's, that's what my brain did. I, my brain said tax evasion artist. Uh, seriously, this version of Slender Man is bone chilling and Lies. far more monstrous than other versions. Lies. I also like this film. I also like this film. Actually, has him more, has him move and interact with the girls rather than just being a still figure and only moving through camera glitches. You know, because like when he's a, an illustrated piece of work in T, like it. <sighs> Okay, no, um, nope. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, words. Now the criticism. The pacing in this movie is mediocre. It was an hour and a half long. Like, you, you find me a horror movie that's like three hours long. And I'll show you a horror movie that did too much. Seriously, we get five minutes into the movie and LeBron. we are, what, two days into the whole film? That is way that's too a fast. Lie. Especially that, that's for, a lie. That's a lie. Especially for this... 95 minute film. Then there's massive amounts of missing character development. The most we get about them is that one of their dads lo loses hope for the missing friend and that's it. Can we get at least like 50% of their background? Not background, but background? Then the characters themselves are boring. They're just your average high school students. Though I would give that they, I would give that they who ask who other questions. Oh, I thought the, the match. Was I right. would, I would, I would give what they ask 
other questions. Okay, I, I, I don't would know what give, they mean by that. I would give what they ask. So if they other ask, questions. If they if they ask for cheese, I'll give them cheese. Other questions. <laughs> Rather than who do you like or we need to give you a boyfriend. Blah blah blah. Though I really like they are people that have been friends a long time rather than people who just meet what each other. What difficulty did I have this on? Because they did And the nothing. team them up to stay together. Only for them to betray each other and run away when one of them goes missing. Cough. Blair Witch Remake. Cough. Something this movie does not. They actually try to help each other. With the sister of one of them even giving herself up for Slenderman to save her sister. Something most other horror movies don't really do. But these characters are still, most of the time, boring and not known much about. The plot is also not bad. But we've seen the plot a thousand other times. And it just now depends how well it gets done. With this movie doing not bad, but not good either. Now the biggest one, the deleted scenes. This movie had tons, and I mean tons of deleted scenes. Oh my gosh. I understand this, it was... This person bought the DVD. <laughs> I understand it was from fear of backlash around the 2014 stabbing, but they should also understand, we hope, gratefully, for the girl of that crime. We could have gotten at least one scene, and I would have been fine, but getting rid of all of them is unacceptable. Overall, I do not hate the film this gets. I do not hate the film this gets. But not also all of it. I was I'm able sorry. to enjoy it myself. Hold on. You heard Stop me. Stop talking. I do not hate the film this gets. But what? not all of it. But not all of it. Not all of it. <laughs> I was able to enjoy it myself, but hey, some people see things differently. I'd give this movie about a 4 out of 4 slash 6 out of 10. 147 people found this helpful. Really? Because I couldn't... <laughs> you couldn't read it. <laughs> Under what circumstance did you find it helpful? You couldn't read it. And like, I'm not going to lie, the, first, the only thing I kept thinking the whole time was like an Indian wrote that. <laughs> like somebody whose native language is not a, is not English wrote that, and like it either got translated or they tried to write it in English, or did they just have like the fucking Google bot <laughs> write that review? <laughs> Cause that was a nightmare. That was, was scarier than the movie. <laughs> it was. I didn't watch that movie to be scared. I just want to point that out there. I didn't watch it to be scared. You like, watched it because of Slender Man, the movie. And if anybody does watch this, like, after they see the episode of the Resident Evil 4 where I scream, Mama, because of the fucking sound cue made that noise that made my testicles shoot up out of my belly button, that's what, like, I'm telling you, like, that didn't scare me. Like, that movie did not scare me. It was not, I, yeah, I didn't watch it to be afraid. I watched it because, like, it's Slender Man. I just wanted to see if it would be good. It wasn't. It was just a fucking bad movie. It wasn't good. It was so trash. And to even say, like, oh, no, it's not that bad. You're a fucking liar. Like, that movie is terrible. It is exclusive. It's a horror movie for girls. You know how like, they have female-friendly porn on Pornhub now? Like, that's female-friendly mm -hmm. horror for people who can't, like, that's... And, like, even that's not fair because I know girls who like slasher flicks and like watching people die for real because they're fucking sick in the head. But that movie was just, like, it was baby's first horror flick. That's what it was. Like, it was terrible. It was so fucking bad. Like, it's because I remember the first thing I, like, one of the things I wanted to do after I watched it was I wanted to go on Twitter, find the person who, who wrote the script. And I wanted to be like, what was your inspiration for writing this film? Like, under the guise of, oh, hey, I really liked it. I want to know what your process was. Just to bait them into, oh, no, like, I was really, like, da 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 Okay, and they're like, well, so how did you fuck it up? <laughs> Like, like, like you did all of that. How did you just? Why did you give up? Like, why did you not make good movie good? That movie was terrible. It's like the idea, of like, oh yeah, we had like all these 
alternate scenes, but because of the girl who got stabbed to death by her two dumbass friends. Yeah, we didn't put the movie. But you shot it and then released it onto the DVD. What's the difference? It exists and you let people watch it. Why not put it in a theatrical version? Other than because it wouldn't have mattered because the movie was trash. I mean, people would have at least talked about your movie at that point. Yeah. Because, and I think like that might have been like a bad thing because then like more people would have wanted to see it because like oh yeah I heard that this is the movie where they mocked that girl who got stabbed to death and then they watch it and like oh fuck this movie's ass this is an ass movie this is an ass mind you, I've not heard anything about that movie since it came out I didn't even know it did come out I thought like it just got cancelled or something it should have it should have. It was. It's a travesty. It's a Travis Barker. It's a. It's a. It's a Don't Travis touchdown. Don't lump him over that. It's a Travis touchdown. Well, that I'll accept that. Like it's 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 not good. Like I, I can't say anything other than that. Like that movie's shit. It is shit on. It is shit on shit toast. So well, there you go. If you haven't seen the Slender Man, now you've heard some reviews and it's terrible. Good night, everybody.